I can't get rid of him, I tried. <laughs> my brother, well, we go way back. And my mom opened the door at 16 and said, get the hell out of my house. And I said, okay. And I was driving my brother to work. I said, Rich, I'm moving. Why? I said, because mom don't like me. She don't like what I am. And he said, if you leave my girls alone, I don't care. <laughs> and I said, Rich, you go out with ugly girls. <laughs> and he did. Hey, so, in the meantime, I went to bars like uh, the Music Box, the Ups and Downs, Mr. B's, Our Place. All these are Calumet City bars. And I loved them. I loved the way everybody got along. I loved how everybody gathered on Sundays at different houses and stuff and had parties. And when I opened my bar, that's what I wanted. So, first I opened the Miz, because I had a chance to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Shirley, my old Miz and Miz customers. <laughs> With Mickey, who is a famous photographer in New York, Miss Mickey Atkins, if you look her up, she was my DJ. And I made her be DJ as long as she stayed in school. And she had to go to school. Because that's what it's all about. And she became a very famous photographer. And this lady was always there too. And they were my ball team, and I was proud of all of them. And sometimes people from other bars would come in and give them a little hard time because we still had that racial issue going on. And I said to them, when they come in at 2 in the morning after they close their bars, don't say nothing. I will handle it. And the minute they started, I warned them, you either stop it or I'll hook the hose up and I'll wash you out of here. I didn't put up with the shit. You know? There's no reason for that. Gay is gay. We come in every rainbow color of the world. And so does everybody in the world. You know? So please vote because we need this hate stopped. Okay? I did have a beautiful daughter, I still do. She lives in Virginia, which I worry about because that's kind of like a redneck area. And seeing that she's mixed and her husband's white, that becomes a problem sometimes. So I worry about her, but she gave me two great grandchildren. She's 45 and I love her to death. And she makes me proud every day. She has raised a beautiful granddaughter and a beautiful grandson who is autistic nonverbal, and he will probably never be able to do anything because he can't talk. And he still poops in his pants at 15. <laughs> so she has put up with him and, and raised him to be a wonderful little man. This gentleman here, and I use the term loosely because I, I remember he was a very loose lady in my day. <laughs> he was a very good his and hers customer along with Karen Burns, who was a very good entertainer. And she used to like to do gospel on Sundays after we close, and after the open mic. By the way, um, uh, what's that, uh, okay, brain fart, brain fart. Come on in, the water's fine. <laughs> Jump in, we won't hurt you. Promise, promise. Well, maybe. <laughs> anyway, Old Town School of Folk Music said we had the best open mic in the city. That was an honor to me, because they are picky, picky. I was downtown one time waiting for a train going home on the CTA, and you know, they have entertainers down there. And this guy was playing the guitar mm -hmm. and singing, and, and everybody was ignoring him. And I just thought, you know, damn, I hate when they do that. So I, I just threw a couple of bills in his guitar case. And as I stepped on the train, he said, thank you, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, he played at the bar. 
And I went back, a lot of the entertainers, not just at my place, but I would go wherever they were entertaining. And one of the few, few people that was at my bar on Lincoln was Judy Tenuta. Yeah, right. Remember her? Yes. She didn't want to, yeah, with her damn accordion, yeah. <laughs> she never would admit that she started out in a gay bar until I harassed the shit out of her, and now she admits it. <laughs> I mean, hell, look at her. Everybody started out in a gay bar somewhere. <laughs> so we do make people famous, because we're smart. We know what's good and what's not good. That's all. I am overwhelmed by all of you. Totally overwhelmed. I love you all. And I'll still be around to harass the shit out of all of you, okay? <laughs> Enjoy the day. Thank you.